Hello once again and we're going to have a game of Chase HQ2 Special Criminal Investigation or in this occasion this could have been just called Special Criminal Investigation because that's what come up didn't have no reference about Chase HQ2 whatsoever anyway we're going to play it and come on here we go yes brilliant already mm. let's give it a go Oh fucking hell! Just already had a smash. Mm, don't like the, the way the car turns. It's not enough animation in that. It looks like there's just three frames on the way the car turns. Um, not over impressed with that, unfortunately. But the game itself seems pretty decent to play. Um, so we activate the turbo by pushing. Uh, Was it Z? Yeah. We push Z to activate the turbos because I think now we can fire in this game this allocates a button to one of the joystick buttons which is still awkward to bloody play and still hurts my fucking fingers like fuck there we go so we're gonna gotta get rid of these motorbikes then so yeah apart from the car the way the car moves oh weapon is that a weapon coming yes got a weapon so that looks like a Rockets, so uh, here's the Porsche. So uh, we've got to stop the Porsche. <laughs> yeah, still plays very well. Once um, again, I regret not playing this in the arcade. I would say the first Chase HQ played a little bit better, to be honest with you. But I'm not taking nothing away because I like the way you can fire to start and try and stop the cars. Um, Adds to the game a little bit more. Come on. Oh fucking hell, don't run out of time. Fuck say come on. look at that. Two seconds, one. Ah, bollocks. Do you know what? We'll have what, another continue on this because I want to lose. Oh fucking hell, that resets. Did it reset on the computer? I can't remember. Um, um, I did a review on this on the Commodore 64 and the Commodore Amiga. I have to say the Commodore 64 version was very good. The Commodore Amiga version weren't that great. But this arcade version, you expect from the arcade, is a really good deep, good version. Apart from the, the car animation is a little bit, a bit crappy. You could have done a little bit a better job on that. So the three frames, like three different frames the way the car is. Left, right and centre, that's it. Um, anyway, enough about that. Come on, stop the car. Fucking hell, time's running down again. My fucking fingers are starting to bloody blister now. Well, not blister, but hurt. Oh, God. Ah, you fucker. Now, nah, we're going to run out of time. Ah, I ain't going to continue with my hands. My fingers are just hurts too much now. It's a shame you can't configure the... We can configure the buttons better, but it's really difficult. These main em emulators to so get them out of as you want because they're designed for a steering wheel. As we're going to end the review now. Thank you so much for watching. Till next time, and goodbye.